uh, night of a lifetime being honored by the Boston Celtics as a hero among us. What was this like, Michael? Uh, it had that game. Yeah. What was your favorite part of, of this uh, entire evening? Ah, uh, that fan of that for me. What was going through your mind if you had 16,000 fans giving you a standing ovation like you were Larry Bird or something? Yeah, it's cool. Absolutely unbelievable. It's just so cool. So, so cool. Very special. Uh, you know, we're here with a lot of friends, family, Michael's coaches, teammates. Uh, it's, it's, it's unbelievable. What was it like to see a standing ovation, 16, yeah. 17,000 fans for Michael Briggs? Just awesome. So surreal for him and, and our program. Uh, we went over to the corporate offices this afternoon and got a tour and had some great interviews. And uh, we have eight of our guys here tonight, along with our coaching staff. And just so happy for him. Well deserved. And uh, just been an inspiration to everybody in our community. And great celebration tonight at the Garden. Well, I think it's just awesome. I mean, we, we did a lot of that, we did a lot of legwork just to get him honored, and uh, they took us and treated us like VIP royalty. We got a great tour of uh, the executive offices. They took the kids down to the court. The kids are like living the dream down there. They, they couldn't be any happier. Uh, they were out there for warm-ups. Cedric Maxwell just came over to Michael right after he uh, received his award, gave him a big hug. I just think that's tremendous. Such a great experience for those kids. It's one thing when we played here at the Garden this year, and now it's just another, uh, it's another great moment, a great night for these kids to bond and kind of just show what uh, you know high school athletics is all about. How about, geez, were you able to sleep last night thinking about coming and being honored by the, by the Celtics? Yeah. How well did you sleep? Come on, Michael. Ah, uh, me, good. You did? Yeah. Were, were you nervous at all? Yeah. He's walking into the crowd. He's, he's got the Orlando Magic giving him a, a, a standing ovation. Yeah. How about his... Cool and professionalism. Oh, yeah. Basketball I mean, is his element. Yeah, uh, I mean, what he has with his friends in basketball, it's, it's amazing. Uh, I mean, this is just, this is Michael. This is what he loves. This is what he does. And, uh, loves it. When he stepped on the court, yes. he stepped out in the middle of the court. Like, uh, that, was, that was cool. And he did it all by himself. Yeah. <laughs> Michael's had, uh, uh, you, know, you see, Gibby, his, 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 his aide, uh, he's always had somebody his whole life. But, Michael did this tonight, uh, yeah, which was a great, you know, independence, and, and that was wonderful to see because he generally has always had somebody, uh, and, uh, the independence of going out there, and uh, that's what I'm uh, the most likes proud of. Uh, I don't know if you'd say protege. He's uh, he's the one teaching me. Um, but anyway, it's awesome to see Mike with this with this amazing honor. Um, it's something he really deserves, and it's something he lives up to every single day. Who have you met tonight for for Celtics players? What do you think of his game? He's pretty big and pretty good on defense, huh? Yeah, he's good. Yeah. Uh, geez, we saw you before the game, and, and Coach Stevens was uh, was uh, shaking your hand and, and stuff. Yeah. Just between us, did you give him any advice on any plays or anything? Yeah, not, not yet. <laughs> what, what was he? What's he uh, like, Coach Stevens? Well, you know me, Michael. We're 26 years, we coach him all the same. And we bark at him and yell at him just like we yell at everybody else. Uh, he, he makes me laugh a little bit more than some of my other guys, but he's got a great attitude and uh, we love having him around. It's just a win-win for, for everybody, our program and, and our community. Our kids get so much out of hanging with Michael and experience uh, what a great kid he is. And Michael gets the experience of playing with one of the premier programs in Massachusetts. Uh, you know, I, I think, you know, Michael, he just kind of takes it all in. You, you should have seen the directions they were going to give to him uh, before he got on the court. I and mean, we didn't think he was paying attention. And he went out there right to a T, exactly everything they said. I think the best part of it is Michael, you know, he picked, he handpicked four of his teammates that he wanted to uh, spend the evening with. And uh, Carter Marinder, Max Biotti, Harry Wynn, and DJ Minor have just been tremendous uh, support, as much of support that we give up the keys. The camaraderie with the kids, I think that's even more important, the uh, social aspect. And he's completely just been enjoying his night with his friends. And we were very cautious. We didn't know what to expect uh, growing up. Us special needs children picked on. We didn't know if that was going to happen. Uh, right from day one, it's been thankfully everything from going way back to Chris Dunn. Took him under his wings his first year as a freshman. Uh, unbelievable. And it has just continued. Uh, there's, been, there's been a lot of support from the coaches. Um, his teammates just, they just know what to do. I mean, it, it's 
just instinct, you know, it was Michael, he was a team and he just always followed me. You know, Michael came to the program and said, you know, Coach, I want to be involved, and with, with open arms, Coach Fazio said, absolutely, you're, you're more than welcome, you're, you know, uh, and since day one, um, you know, Michael's really made sure that he's involved, and Coach has made sure he's involved, and um, the other players on the team have been absolutely amazing um, as, you know, bigger brothers to Mike, um, and, you know, they goof around with him, joke around with him, have fun with him, and he gives it right back to him. Um, and it's it's really a family atmosphere. And, and how about the uh, the, the uh, you're seated so close to the uh, to the action? You you're like two feet away from the court. Uh, you attempted to, to run out and maybe take a shot like you did the big shot against Mathuin in the Christmas journey. Yeah. What are those seats like, Michael? It, it, uh, it's good. Okay. Hey, well, congratulations on, on the big night, Michael. That's just awesome. Yeah, it's just honestly, it's just it's a great. It's a great, great night for him and for our team and, and for our family and, and we're so happy for him and he's so he's so cool about the whole thing. They're saying, do you want to introduce this Mike or Michael? And he's it's the same, it's the same, it doesn't matter, you know. And then we wanted them to do the full spin to get the uh, wave to the crowd. He kept doing the half spin. We were like, keep spinning. So he's great. He's just so cool and um, you know, he, he's always there, ready to uh, crack a joke, uh, give a smile, um, and just brings a level of clarity and, and to, to my life and, um, and it's just such an amazing person to work with and I mean he just he does so much thing so many things for so for so many people I think what even summarizes it well tonight is I don't know if you saw Cedric Maxwell come up to Michael literally hug him I can't tell you how many people here at the garden know Michael uh, Ocho the head ball boy uh, Bill, the head of security. Uh, the players have all changed, uh, you know, but it, it is truly amazing. Uh, uh, the guy up in our section yelling down to some Michael and Mikey, and uh, it, it is, it's, it's unbelievable.